I'm going to call this a six month update on the heart mower. Um, I'm going to use it today. As you can see, we got some good, pretty good tall and thick grass now. I think the last one I did was six months ago. But um, it does okay. I mean, nothing beats a gas mower, but this thing does a great job. So I'm going to use it today on the front and the back. And let's take a look at the backyard. As you can see back here, we've got uh, some tall grass. And it's a pretty decent size backyard. So if you're wondering how long the battery lasts that comes with it, it will do this whole yard. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna use the bagger today. And I'll give you an update after a while. So I've already done this part. Um, I started about 9.50. So we'll see how long it takes to do uh, the whole yard. I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit of the front right now. I'm not using the bagger today. And I wish this mower cut a little bit lower than what it does. I know people say don't cut your grass too, too low. I don't care. It's my yard and I'll cut it low if I want. That's what, uh, what I like to do, considering the fact that this grass is watered every day, either by the sprinkler system or the or the rain. So it grows too fast. This doesn't cut near as, as close as the gas mower. Not as low, I mean. And it, um, it misses a lot of spots, but it does okay you know, from a distance. Nice and shady over here. Sorry for the shaky video. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. So I'm going to turn the video off right now. We'll come back in a little bit. All right, finished up the front, and now we're going to do the back. So I'm just going to go for a few passes through here and then turn it off and come back when I'm completely done. There's the lemon tree. That stump right there used to be an oak tree until the hurricane knocked it down. Anyway, that's enough of this for now. I'll come back at the very end and we'll see how long the battery lasts. I did take a five minute break earlier. Okay, so it's done. And the time is 10.48. I started at 9.50, so it took less than an hour. And it mowed the entire yard on one battery. That is the big five battery. Let's see what it's got. Uh, Yeah, it's just got 
one left. One light, but it's still got some in it. You also don't want to charge it up when it's hot. And it still leaves, it misses some. Like this, I don't know if you can see that. The, the gas mower would never miss stuff like this. But it's, uh, it's good to have. I mean, I don't mind using it. I swap them out every other time. And I have it on the lowest setting. 1.5, but I have the gas mower just a little bit lower. So, actually, go down one and suit me just fine. Anyway, there, there you have it. Normally, I cut outside the fence, too. That used to be the ball field the sports complex, which is gone. Uh, there were four baseball fields here and then a soccer field down there. And then in the center was the sports complex or the concession stand. Hurricane Michael wiped all this out. And they're supposed to redo it, put a dog park, tennis courts, basketball courts, and then some more playground equipment and bathrooms. So we'll see. Anyway, um, the heart, I believe it's come down in price on at Walmart in stores. Uh, keep in mind it's 20 inch, it's not 21 or 22 like a lot of push mowers, but it'll get the job done. It's been reliable, dependable, and when my wife mows, it's easy on her. So there you go. All right, so I put it on the charger, and it is charging, um, but it will probably stop before it gets done. It's just because the battery's hot. If it gets hot, you'll get like a red flashing light that says error, and do not plug up this charger to an extension cord. Plug it directly into the outlet. Um, so I'm just going to let this go. I'll come back and check on it in a couple hours and see if it's done. If it's flashing red, I'll just let it cool and start over.